Hey, how's it going? I'm going to do some step recording in Ableton Live. I'll show you how I do it. I'm using Ableton version 9.7.1 and I'm just going to assume that you already know how to create a new live set and make some tracks already and that you've done that. If you don't know how to do that stuff, just look in the description of this video and look for links to other videos. Alright, I already have a percussion track and a bass track. Here's what they sound like. Those sound okay, and I want to add a piano track, which I have already made, and I've already put a piano device in. But the part I want for the piano is too difficult to play, so I'm going to use Step Record to do it. The, the first thing I need to do is create a new MIDI clip in the clip slot where I'm going to have this piano part. If I just double click in the clip slot, it makes a new clip, a blank clip. And I'm going to change the length of this clip to be two bars right here in the edit window. I'm checking to make sure that this blue headphone button is engaged. I'm checking to make sure that the track is armed. Right here. And then I just have to click to insert at the beginning of the clip. You're going to notice that these numbers down here where it says 116, that's the size of the grid, 16th note grid. And actually you can change that using Command 2 to make it a more coarse grid in increments, or Command 1 to make it a finer grid. I'm setting it to 8th notes for my project. Uh, the first note I want is an F, so I'll just hold the note down on the keyboard. It hasn't inserted it yet. When I press the right arrow on the Mac keyboard, it inserts an eighth note of that F. And if, if, if while I'm still holding the F on the keyboard, if I press the right arrow again, it makes that F twice as long. If I were to release the F and then press it down again and then hit the right arrow, it inserts a second F note instead of making it longer still. And actually, if I, while I'm still holding it down, if I hit the left arrow key, it'll erase that F. It works with multiples of notes. You can hold chords, so I'll just hold two notes here. And the right arrow inserts those two notes. Here's another note. I want an eight, uh, eighth note. I'll hit it twice, the right arrow, so I get twice as long. And here's another two two right arrows to make it long. Here's another single note. Another pair of notes with the right arrow. All right, well, let's see what that sounds like. And we'll add the other tracks too, see how it comes together. That's step recording in Ableton Live. 